Dawn, written and directed by Orpuff. Chapter 1. Outbreak. Everyone remembers where they were and what they were doing when an outbreak first happened. I was free when the outbreak took place. Vaughn, could you get Mary for me, please? Sure, Mum. Vaughn goes into his little sister's nursery, picks her up gently as she's still sleeping. He walks out her room door and down the stairs to the kitchen where his mother is cooking breakfast. Vaughn passes over his little sister Mary to his mother and says, Here you go, Mum. She's still sleeping, though. Morning, sleepyhead. Thank you, son. Meanwhile, at the lab of the highest and most dangerous diseases and viruses are held. Do you have the papers, Coco? Yes, sir. Here you go. Coco hands over a binder full of papers of important information to Tangle. So, Tangle, what are the symptoms of this virus? A high temperature over the hundreds and constantly wants nutrients of food. Not to mention the bloodshot eyes and drooling of the mouth. They also show signs of aggression towards staff members. That's not a good sign, Tangle. I've seen this thing in my 30 years of years on this planet. It is another outbreak. We need to keep patient zero in locked confinement. No one gets in, no one gets out. Do you understand me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Meanwhile, at Sunken Dale Avenue. And why are you not going to school, Bon? Well, it's an unselfish day, Mother, so I couldn't go to school anyways. You better not be lying to me, Bon. <laughs> I'm not, I swear I'm not lying. Shit! Patient Zero isn't responding, Diesel. What am I meant to do? He's dead. We can't do anything. The room needs to... Tango, where are you going? Tango, don't go in there. We don't know if that virus is airborne yet. He's still a human being, Diesel. I can't let him suffer like that. Opens Patient Zero's door without realising that Patient Zero is breathing. Tango, get out of there now. Get out. Run, 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 run. Patient Zero is no longer a human anymore. With his milky eyes and his pale skin, and his hunger for flesh. Sound the alarm, Coco. Sound the alarm. Outbreak. <laughs> While Patient Zero makes his way out of the containment facility, where he is held, he goes around and infects other people with the bacteria and viral infection that he has, making more things like himself, more monsters like himself. Meanwhile, me and my family were napping in the living room until we heard a big bang at the front door. We shut up startled. Let us in! Let us in! Let us in! Bond's mother picks herself up from the couch, walks over to the front door and looks through the peephole. She sees two youngish men and a young woman with them. 
She opens the door in the Baxter cells and panting. <sighs> Bon runs over to his little sister and picks her up. Who are these people? Mum. I don't know. I'm going to kill the cops. As she goes to go and walk over to the, tel the telephone in the kitchen, Diesel grabs her hand and says, There's no point. There's no place anymore. What do you mean, there's no place? Turn the TV on. Breaking news, there's a viral outbreak happened. These beings are killing other humans. I repeat, they are killing other humans. They have cannibalistic tendencies. Do not leave your homes unless necessary. If you leave your homes, do use a weapon to destroy the brain. And remember, stay safe. Well, is it okay if we stay here for a while? No, I don't want you to stay here. I don't know who you are. What is your names? I'm Diesel. That's Tango. That's Coco. Wait. Who are you? You had to think for a moment there. If we tell them the truth, we will get blamed for the outbreak. We are farmers. I have a farm and ranch just up north in here. Is it okay if I can stay here for a while? Sure, said Bond's mother. You can have the loving room to sleep on. I think we need to do as the TV person says. Barricade the door, have an exit route in case anything goes wrong, and board up the windows. Before more f of that thing out there becomes more here. Oh, are you sure this isn't a joke? Bon, I brought you up with manners. You do not talk to your elders like that. Of course it is real. Have you not seen the news? Bon storms off to his room. Are you sure we're not intruding here? No, he'll be fine. He'll come out of his mood. Would you like something to eat? They sit down for a nice warm bowl of soup for dinner. Coco takes Bond's soup bowl up to him and chaps on the door. Here's some soup at the door. Okay, just leave it there, I'll get it in a sec. Bon and everyone else in the house slowly drifts off to sleep. Bon is woken suddenly by screaming from downstairs and running up the stairs. Bon, let us in quickly! Just then, the door swings open and everybody piles in. And his little sister is crying. What's the matter? What's going on? Shh. They're inside the house. Who's inside the house? The virus. The virus turns people into zombies. Zombies aren't real. Bon, honey, they are real. And I don't think we can stay here for long. Bond's mother hands Coco her daughter and slowly slides off the roof of the house. Where do we go now? As I said, I have a farm up north in here. We can go there. The virus will take forever to get out there. They all started walking. Bond's mother goes to the back of the group and looks at her arm as she's been bitten. Coming up soon, chapter 2.
stay alive. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching another video of mine. Thank you so much. Remember, if you like this type of video or like any other type of content I have on my YouTube channel, give this a thumbs up. Remember to turn on the bell to be notified whenever I come on. And if you think I'm lovely for a subscribe, please do. Remember, you're awesome and mama loves you. Mwah. Bye bye.